Right now, if I want to get up on the top of the van, I have to have a step ladder, something like this, that allow me to get up, clean the solar panels, do any work, put down the antenna uh, for the Wii Boost, or if I have to do any maintenance up here, um, I have to be able to get here somehow. So since we decided not to put an exterior ladder on the van, we got to come up with a different solution. Um, so what we ended up doing after this last trip, because I needed to get up there and didn't have the ability to, uh, we found um, a ladder that I think is going to work for us. So because a step ladder um, isn't something we're interested in, I didn't want to put a van, a ladder on the side or one on the back. We decided to go with something else and that is the Thule uh, van ladder. It's got nine steps, it goes up eight feet and it's got a magnetic bar that attaches to the van um, so that the ladder is secure at the top. And I think that's gonna be a great solution. It's compact, it'll fit in the garage um, below the uh, bed. And I think it's gonna give us the access that we want without having a permanent ladder on the outside. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. We're gonna do an unboxing. If you're new to the channel, please uh, consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment when we're done. It'd be great. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I haven't obviously opened this up. It should be fairly simple. So this is uh, the box that's model 301404 and it is the van ladder with nine steps so it comes with a bag and the thing that i like about this is that it's compact and it's going to fit in our garage i guess these are some things that you can stick on the van if you have a ladder that goes in the same spot to protect your paint. All right. So this is the magnet mechanism and basically this just uh, attaches to the van with these magnets right here and we'll show that in just a second. And then you basically you just put this in like that and then the, the, the ratchet strap, this is what holds the top of the ladder together or it holds it to where the van is. So it has its own bag. Some extra pieces. And this ladder has a 350 pound weight capacity. So that's gonna allow just about anybody who wants to use this thing, the ability to use it. All right, so it's made out of aluminum, which makes it relatively light. There's the ladder. It has nine steps, and then you use those uh, levers to unlock it so we drop. So let's, uh, let's put it to use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna get up there and clean, trash out of the way, clean the solar panels. 
So we we'll put that right there. You can see where I attached the top of it on the upper rail. So before we uh, put it on, um, you have two rubber feet that come with it. And basically they slide in to the end cap so that when it sits up next to your van or whatever you put it onto, it just comes with four screws with a Phillips head. Once you just feel it touch the plastic, the rubber, that's all you need to do. I don't feel like I put a whole lot of force on it, but you can see it pull tight on the edge. And that's all you need to do. So we'll just extend it. Place that right above where it needs to be. And then just to make sure that we're safe, And then you can ratchet the, this down. So these little things act like a ratchet. And so it's nice and secure. You can climb up, do the things that you wanna do and climb back down. So I'll take you up so you can see how it attaches. And here's where the ratchet straps come in. And then down here, you notice that the, the feet of this come right out on top of the, uh, the magnet, and it's secure. So I'll take it down just so you can see how that process works. So push this in. So the little levers act as a ratchet, but they also act as the release. So you pull that out. Slide it back underneath a little traveler to keep it tight. Come down and then all you gotta do is just push in these bars and it'll start to collapse. So that way you can adjust it however you want to. Or you can do the bottom one and it automatically adjusts everything for you. And it's got like a little air piece to it, an air uh, system, um, so that when you uh, drop the legs, like on some of the ladders, if you do that, it'll fall automatically and get your fingers. This one's got a little, like a little air uh, chamber in it so it comes down nice and easily. And uh, I'll show you how it's gonna fit into the garage real quick. Before I do that, we'll take the magnet off and really it's as easy as sticking your hands up underneath it and rocking it back and it comes, comes right off. So it's not hard at all um, to get this on and off and I really like the way the system is set up. We'll put everything back in the bag. So the magnet goes into that bag like that. It's got a nice little carry strap. And then the main bag for the ladder to keep it not only protected, uh, but also to make sure maybe it doesn't rattle or anything like that. And it just Velcros down. And it also has a strap if you want it. So the dimensions of this about 29 inches by 20 inches. So that makes it fairly compact uh, to put in your vehicle. Um, it's only uh, about three inches wide, if that. The system costs about $299, and if you compare that to a ladder uh, that you're gonna put on your vehicle, whether or not it's on the back door or on the side, um, you're gonna spend it easily four to five times that much depending on what brand you have. And it has to attach to a roof rack if it's on the side of your van. So if you don't have one of those, you're gonna need that too. 
So I think it's a very cost-effective solution to those of us who either custom build our roof rack system or we just don't want a ladder on the outside of the van. So I got my ladder from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. We do have an affiliate account, so if you consider this or any of the other products that we use, please consider using our link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help us out a little bit. So as you saw, it was pretty easy to put it on the side of the van, and it'll also go on the back door as well. One of the cool things about this thing is it's adjustable, and I'll show you how to do that. That way, if you want to climb up to the back, if your back doors are open, uh, you have that ability. All right, so we still have our stuff in there from, basically this is just slide in just like that. We'll put our, solo stove will fit right next to it. Put that in and, and we're done. So one of the things that I noticed was that the bag that has the, um, the magnet attachment to it has got a piece of foam padding in the bottom of it. And I didn't really realize what that was for. You can see inside the bag, there's a piece of foam pad. And then this is supposed to slide in like that. Well, the reason for the foam padding is because these are magnets. And so that you have a way to put this in a bag and put it wherever you want to. And then this isn't gonna try and stick to something um, because it's touching metal. So pretty smart for Thule to think about that. That was our new addition, the uh, Thule nine step van ladder made specifically for vans. Um, it's gonna be a great addition for us. It's gonna make getting up on top to clean the solar panels or to do anything up top super easy and we can bring it with us. And that's the biggest thing is that I didn't want a ladder on the outside <laughs> because one, it gives anybody access to the top of your van but two, they're super expensive and it's just one more thing to add uh, to your system where this fits very easily in the garage. And we had the space for it, uh, so I think it all works out. So I hope you guys got something from the video. Thanks for watching. Like I said from the beginning, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. This is Dan from Rambling Ambition and we'll talk to you later.